getting started with the Georgia Tech Library Microfilm Reader Room. This video will teach you how to get started with using the Georgia Tech Library Microfilm Reader Room. The room is located in the Price Gilbert Library in room G201. You can book the room for use 24 hours in advance using our room reservation service. You can request microfilm via our catalog or interlibrary loan. No matter how you request the microfilm, you will pick it up from the info desk on the Grove level of Price Gilbert Library. We're going to teach you how to get started with the microfilm reader and where to go for help if you need it. The first step is to log into the room's computer with your Georgia Tech credentials. The next step is to turn on the reader. The power switch is on the back of the microfilm reader near the wall. You will know the reader is on when it lights up green and makes an audible powering up noise. There are two formats you may encounter when using the machine, microfilm that comes on a roll and flat microfish. Loading microfilm can be a little complex, so we're going to explain the process and then show you. On the left-hand side of the machine, place your full film reel on the spoke so that it feeds off to the right. At Georgia Tech, we use a green dot to notate the top of the film. Place the film underneath the roller on the left and then through the slot next to the viewing glass. The film will come across the glass and then will be fed through the slot on the right, around the roller, and then placed in the notch on the right-hand spoke. Rotate the receiving spoke to the right twice to anchor the film. Next, we'll show you how to load microfish. To load a sheet of microfish, pull the glass reader shelf towards you. The top of the machine will pop upwards, giving you room to place your microfish. Load the microfish with the top facing you upside down. Try to load as straight as possible. Once you've loaded your media, it's time to open the reader software. The software is called PowerScan. Double click on it from the desktop. When PowerScan loads, the first step is to pick your media type. Once you select your film type, tools for using the film will become available. In addition to the digital tools, you will scan through Microfish by physically moving the machine's camera forwards, backwards, and side to side. If you need help using the software or have any trouble, please contact a public services associate at the info desk, located on the Grove level of the Price Gilbert Library. Once you've finished using the machine, remove your media. Next, turn the machine off by using the switch on the back. Then, restart the computer to log yourself off and prepare the computer for the next user. Finally, be sure to take all your film and belongings with you. Today we have covered how to get started with the microfilm reader room. We've talked about how to turn on the machine, how to load common media types, where to get help if you need it, and what to do when you're finished. Thanks for watching.